I'm Daryl Liggins, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of the danger of inlet screens. So one of the basic things we need to accomplish on the interior of a building to have a successful fire attack is to create a proper fire stream. One of the things that can harm us is if we have any type of clog in that nozzle that reduces the amount of GPM getting to that nozzle. On this nozzle, we have a inlet screen. It's also called a gasket grabber, and what it's designed to do is to catch debris so it doesn't enter the interior of the nozzle. Sometimes if it enters the interior of the nozzle, you have to take the nozzle apart just to get the uh, material out of that, particularly on automatic nozzles. This is designed to protect the nozzle, not the firefighter. Once uh, any debris gets caught behind a screen like this, what can happen is you can completely lose water and it's near impossible to fix. You'd have to shut down the pump, drain the hose, something that is not practical during a fire attack. If you have a screen, simply remove it. Something else that's not designed as a screen but acts like a screen is a stream shaper. Sometimes you could find a stream shaper on the inlet side of a nozzle, particularly when you have a combination nozzle attached to an integrated slug tip. People will attach a stream shaper so they can clean up the stream prior to the smoothbore nozzle. If you're using this type of nozzle, you can still have the same types of problems if you have any debris get caught behind that nozzle. If you are gonna choose to use a stream shaper, I would generally choose to use it on a master stream. On the interior of the building, it's not really gonna be operationally impactful. On master streams, it was used to get maximum reach in heavy winds and can provide greater distance for beyond the collapse zone. You want that stream shaper to be prior to the smoothbore and after your bale. Now, if any debris gets caught behind that screen, you have the opportunity to shut down, remove the tip, get rid of that material, and then rejoin your fire attack. But one of the great advantages of uh, nozzles with solid round ball valves and smoothbores is that it's just a hole and any material passing through will pass all the way through the nozzle without getting caught by any type of screens or stream shapers. <laughs>